Hello, is it me you're looking for? Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Jason Chats. JJ chatting about Nout. Hello. Hmm, you know what? What time is it? 17 minutes past nine in the mo in the morning on the 17th of September 2021 and I've got a busy day in fact it's probably the busiest day I've had in a while and I don't want to do it I don't want to go out so I'm gonna force myself so what I've got, I've got a double appointment at the doctor's. One is for my back, my lower back, because um, I haven't been able to, I've had, I had this um, lower back problem. It's like gradually got worse over the last 20 odd years. So I know it's not uh, like a, a recent injury or anything like that. And I'm on painkillers for it. Why don't you use hypnosis then, Mr. Hypnosis Man? Yeah, shut up. So I got uh, so I got this lower back problem, and for the last two years, I've not really been able to get to the doctors to get an examination. Um, you know, for the because of the coronavirus, and uh, most of the appointments I was able to get was on the phone. And mm, you can't really examine someone on the phone. I mean, I've tried, you know, I've tried. I haven't tried examining people on the phone. Why was I going there? But you can't get touched on the phone, you know? I mean, unless he's like a really good hypnotist, he's like putting me into a trance so that I feel like I'm being examined. But what was the point in that? So I put it off a little bit. You know, I could have gone up till now because they've been open to to you know humans and interactions stuff like that for a few months but I just you know the whole idea of going and making appointments phoning them up can't get through going in there to make an appointment and then having to quite often they don't even have any appointments where they say well we've got no we can't book anything because it's too far we're booked up for the next two week, two months. So you're going to have to phone up to make an appointment in the future. That kind of like, oh, it just gets a little bit draining. So I was in there with a friend who was having, he went in there. So I just went went up there with him because there's a supermarket nearby. And we just get some shopping. And this was a couple of weeks ago. And I asked, I just thought, I'll just go in there, see if I can make an appointment. And they had one appointment one day where they had some space so I said yeah I'll take it and unfortunately I didn't realize it actually coincided with my optician's appointment the same day but I couldn't turn their doctor's one down because otherwise I'd have to go home and phone them in a few weeks or whatever to try and make an appointment so I thought no I'll take that I'll cancel the opticians if I have to I can redo that one this is more important my stomach's ch I've just eaten. It's coffee. Coffee really gets it. Ugh. Is it a laxative coffee? It can be a little bit, can't it? Anyway. Um, I went there for two reasons. I, I booked an appointment for two things. One was for my lower back. Because I figure, I want to, I'm in pain, it varies, uh, sometimes it's just an ache, it's a dull ache, uh, if I do anything, uh, for example, I've been tidying up my flat the last five, six days, I like to spread things out, I don't want to, you know, it was a lot to do, um, I might actually do a video of the setup I've got here, because I've now got two desks, and a table around me 
so I've got the laptops, I've got the iPad over there for where I do the podcast recordings. I've got another desk here with two things on there. You know, it's just all set up quite good. But a lot of bending. And when I bend, at the end of it, I'm just in a lot of pain. It's, you know, sometimes um, if I exert myself, if I pick something heavy up, for example, uh, I have to lay down on a bed for an hour or so to just, um, I don't know, relax my back or something. I don't know, stretch the back out. I'm not sure quite what it what it does, but I need to do it sometimes. Last, uh, last loud, wasn't it? Early this year, in the winter, I was having to sit down twice, just walking to the petrol station, and twice coming back, because I was in so much pain. Uh, and I don't know how much of that is to do with the weather, the coldness, the dampness. I don't know. Because if it's arthritis, maybe, I've heard that arthritis can be affected by the weather, can be affected by dampness, which is why some people with arthritis do move to a drier um, climate, a, a more warmer climate, which is not an option for everyone, is it, to be fair? So uh, I'm living in probably one of the dampest climates in the world, you know, as far as it's, the weather's always changing. I mean, I think Ireland, I would say, is a lot more damper and places like Scotland and Wales, but as far as the area, the part of the world, it's just quite a dampy kind of uh, environment, especially inside my underpants. So I thought I might as well just get it examined, get sent to a professional, because he's not going to be out, the doctor's not going to know uh, what's going on. He's not an expert on the back, unless he is. And then I'll get referred to a specialist at the hospital and have an x-ray. I think that's the main thing, get an x-ray. If you want to know what's going in a, going inside the body, you have to have an x-ray. You can't tell by touching the outside. Um, that's why psychiatrists don't are not doing their job properly because they can't tell what's going on inside the brain unless they actually examine the brain. But they won't do it to everyone. It's like, it's, like that's where it's happening, in the brain. Examine it, do an x-ray of the brain, or whatever they call it, and you can see abnormalities. But no, they're just like, well, we're going to try and test it by what you say and your experience of life. And we'll give you some medication. Yes. Instead of just going straight to the source. Because, you know, it could be a tumour, there could be a blockage, there's something that changes the personality that causes the blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I've also got a... Um, a diabetic test as well today. So I've got two appointments. One's for the diabetes, although I, I don't know if I've got diabetes, but what happened is when I was in Cornwall, my friend's mum, um, after making love, we, we decided to know, mate, we, gosh, she hears this. She said not to tell anyone. No, we, um, She's a diabetic and she had this machine and I thought, I want to test it. You know, like you do when you see someone with glasses on or they've got a wheelchair. Like, oh, let me have a go. So I thought, um, never hearing aids though, because, you know, earwax. Ugh, disgusting. I'm not, I'm not putting that in my ear. So I tested it and I was higher. We all did it in the room. It was like a bit of a blood party, really, I guess. I was way higher than everyone, including a person that actually has diabetes. So, I went to the pharmacy and the pharmacy says, yeah, um, you might be diabetic, don't know. Bit of a pointless conversation, really. So, they said, we well, just go, go to the doctor, isn't it? What do you want from us? Do you want some contraceptive? We can give that to you. <laughs> and they all laughed, like I would never need it. Like, thanks, yeah, that's really, really rude. 
And so I booked an appointment, so I got two appointments. I thought it was a double appointment, and then they sent me an email saying, or text message saying, you have an appointment at this time, and you have another appointment at this time. Like, I thought, well, at least give me a time, just take this time, what am I supposed to guess? And so yeah, that's it. And then I got to go to the opticians from there. And I'll be honest with you, I want to cancel it. I want to cancel all of it because I don't want to go. I really don't because it's just, I'm trying to think, do I need the opticians? My eyesight's all right for a little bit. I can hold out for another six months. I mean, if I have the eye test today, they're gonna say, well, you need new glasses, you need new lenses. Well, they always do. But I can't afford to buy any glasses. I've got no money, so I can't afford to, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, you need, you wanna choose some lenses and some glasses for your lenses? I will, but are you gonna pay for them? So that's kind of pointless. Uh, diabetes, I mean, technically, that's probably the most important one, isn't it? If I do have diabetes, but then I'm not ill. So, uh, the back, I mean, to me, that's the most important because that's something that I'm living with every single day. I mean, I'm also living with my arms and my legs, you know, but. For me, it's kind of like, I'd like to know if part of my back is crumbling, if I have a vertebrae that's uh, misplaced or just, uh, I don't know, dead or whatever, I don't know. If there's something, I want to know what the physical thing is. I'm not interested in, um, I know what it feels like. I know what the results is because I can feel it. But I want to know what's causing it, just for my own knowledge you know um, so the only way to get that ball rolling is to actually go to the doctors because you know that's it but I still don't want to go coffee cheers man So apart from that, things are, uh, they're all right. And 14 and a half thousand downloads yesterday. And I didn't do a let me bore you to sleep in the evening. I'll tell you why, I was so tired. Um, I did quite a bit yesterday. I was like, put this desk up together. Put it wrong, did it wrong this first time, so I had to redo it. Um, I'm pointing to the desk, you can't see the desk, but I'll, I might make a little video, like a, I don't know, a video. I'm not going like that. This is a video here. I'm just, I might show you the pictures of the desk, my little setup, because I'm quite pleased. Oh, mm, gas, lovely. <coughs> mm, nice. So, I'm single, by the way, if you want to fancy a nice bunk up. Um, I... <laughs> Yeah, yesterday I also made three recordings. Did quite a bit of internet stuff. Uh, so I think between that and everything, it got a little bit tiring. And I did a, a Jason's Bedtime story time. I streamed it live. I think I'm going to stop doing that. I don't know. I mean, there's a few reasons. Firstly is... The quality of the picture ain't great when you stream. It's not the same quality as, like if I make a video like this, I know the light ain't great even though it's early in the morning, it's a bit dull outside, so the light ain't brilliant. But yeah, it looks pretty, oh God, look at me, God, I'm so old. It still looks all right, you know? But when I stream, there's just it's just a bit grainy, just not, not so great. The sound, although better than it ever used to be, the iPhone's sound is much better than it used to be, you know, the other previous iPhones, is not 
it's okay. So I've got my ca- I've got my microphone and a podcast. The the podcast there's the sounds really pretty good. So the podcast is okay, but the actual video or the stream isn't at the same quality. So I don't know. I, I might make another. I've just done a few, but I'm not sure how much of a distraction doing a live stream is from the actual podcast that I'm making. Because, so for example, the Let Me Boy to Sleep, I spent most of the time talking to the people on the camera because there's there's only like five or six people, so it wasn't a lot of people, and were saying stuff to me and asking me questions, and so I was answering. But I felt a little bit like I was ignoring my podcast listeners because normally I I talk directly to them. And I felt like I wasn't. And that's kind of part of the intimacy of doing a podcast, is you're talking directly to the person listening. But it kind of seemed to turn into something like they're listening to me talk to someone else. And I don't know if that's... It doesn't seem to have affected the stats and people haven't like run away screaming, we don't like it no more. But it's possible. I mean, yesterday I only had... uh... No, to be fair, if anything, it's probably gone up. But I don't know. It's really hard to get feedback for this stuff. I suppose I could just ask. Ask? Is it ask or ask? I could ask uh, whether it's uh, what people want. I mean, maybe I could do a live stream once a week. Let me boy to sleep live stream. I uh, don't know. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I guess, I don't know why I thought about doing a Jason Chats vlog now. It's partly because I want to cancel today. I do. I don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Really don't want I don't want to. I just... I can't be bothered. If you know what I mean. I just don't want to do it. Yet, I kind of need to do it. I mean, eyesight is important, your back is important, and I guess when it comes to uh, diabetes, my life is important, because it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I might go, and I might have stories to tell. Boring stories, you know. Yes, and the optician asked me to say, uh, Better or worse, better or worse, better or worse, as he flipped the switch to make the visual thing I'm looking at more blurry or more clearer. Better or worse, better or worse. Technically, that's got to be, it looks like a really easy job. I mean, once you've got the fundamentals down and you know what you're doing, the actual job itself is like, it's just repetitive, isn't it? It's the same thing. At least if you got a chance to do a bit of eye surgery, you know, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just eye surgery. Oh. Ugh. Maybe I should get contact lenses. I just said so, I'd like contact lenses, please. They said, yeah. I said, well, and I'll just walk, I walk away. I said, where are you going, sir? So I'm just going to pick a frame. You don't have frames with contact lenses. I do. But it's you're wanting contact lenses, yeah. But not, I don't want them in my eye. I just want contact lenses. This little tiny ones with frames. Ow. He said, it doesn't work like that. I said, you need to open your mind, man. You need to expand. Stop being so limited. 
Stop being so small. Get bigger, baby, get bigger. It could, could be popular. I might get like really little round glasses because, you know, they used to be really popular, didn't they, in the past? Just this little really, I'm trying to think of someone famous that had them. But just little round glasses. Because I used to have round glasses when I was uh, 18, 19, 20, something like that. But I only had them for reading, reading. So it's the first, I might get them again. Mind you, I never ever, yeah. I don't know, maybe. Perhaps, I was thinking about getting uh, Roy Orbison glasses, you know, the really dark ones, to go all the way around. So apparently, the reason he had those glasses to start with is because he had uh, an eye injury. And he was just didn't want to go on stage with everyone seeing his black eye and stuff. And then he just continued wearing them. Didn't need them. Wasn't blind. He just just it was his look. So I thought I might do the same. Just you know, because it blocks out everything, so they can't see anything. They. Not, not the person wearing them, because then that would be no good. But I might do that, you know. I might. I wonder where you get them from. Roy Orbison glasses. Yeah. I think I'd look wonderful. I reckon every day would be like Christmas morning. That's how great it would be. Anyway, I'm going to go. So thanks for watching and stuff. I don't really care. It's just, it's just a quick Jason Chats vlog. My old vlog that I've been doing for about 35 years and now and then. So take care. There's more recordings on the way. Um, and that's it. Got nothing else to say. Still managed to make nothing last 22 minutes. Why well, can't just do a five minute vlog? Hello. Bye, that would be it. Still last 10 minutes. Crazy. Well, I'm gonna go. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget, check out my website, jasonnewland.com, a place where there's nothing. There's no reason to go there, but just check it out anyway. It's absolutely rubbish. Oh, you'll, you'll really be angry with me. But check it out. Go on. There's no benefit to me at all. So go on, check it out. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Mm.